And an ongoing lawsuit between YRMC and the hospital district board is set to go to trial this summer. This comes after the Yuma County Board of Supervisors approved a property tax used to cover the district's legal fees. Zachary Morinoris has both sides of the story and what it could mean for property owners in Yuma. Yeah, YRMC and the district board have been going back and forth since 2020, and now both sides are gearing up for a legal showdown right here in court. The long-standing legal battle is set to see its day in court. YRMC filed the lawsuit back in 2020 alleging the Yuma Hospital District Board breached the lease agreement and subtly raised the hospital's rent. Our basic concern is that, you know, our rent was raised 8,000% without us knowing about it, you know, and without any... Um, Reasoning. The district is an elected board that manages the lease of land that YRMC is built on. Chairman Jeremy Curry says the district submitted a proposed budget but never raised the hospital's rent. The CEO of YRMC said to me that the district significantly raised the rent at YRMC without any reasoning. Is that true? That is not true. It's the continued propaganda that I see uh, from YRMC trying to state that we significantly raised their rent by charging them this bill, and we never did. The district says they were forced to impose a tax on property owners in Yuma County after they say YRMC refused to pay for their legal expenses in the lawsuit. Last December, the Goldwater Institute filed their own lawsuit against the district, claiming the district is, quote, trying to illegally sneak a new tax onto residents' property tax bills. Hospital CEO Dr. Trenchell says that YRMC is not a party in this new legal suit, but that he agrees that local property owners should not be footing the bill. To be able to say that you can just tax folks without, you know, going through the, the right channels is, is, I think, an issue, a significant issue. Chairman Curry says there's nothing illegal about this tax. He's hoping to put that money back in the pockets of property owners if the district wins in court or if the two sides can agree on a settlement. We're going to get that tax money back and we're going to refund you as much as we can from that. So that's my promise to you. According to the district's website, the trial is set for this July. In Yuma, Zachary Moranoris.